Hello students, KSA 2024 round 1 seat allotment results have already been released and now many of you would have joined some colleges by choosing choice 1. So while taking admission in different colleges, you need to produce the list of documents. So yes, in this video, we are going to discuss the list of documents that you need to carry in the original format for taking admissions in different colleges. So I'll be covering the list of documents for all the clauses. So yes, please watch even if you are not taking admission right now, please watch this complete video. Take a note of all the documents that is required so that you can keep them ready and you do not have to face any trouble while taking the admission, right? So yes, I'll be covering all the clauses. So I want everyone to sit with a notebook and a pen and list down the the all the documents that is required for your admission process okay so yes now we'll be starting with the dates i'm mentioning these dates so that you don't forget this these are very important deadlines are very very crucial so making choice entry today is the last day 3rd september till 11 59 pm then payment by those candidates who are selecting choice one for them the last date is 4th september 4 pm and downloading the admission order and then uh, by the students who have paid the fees for them the last date is 5th september 2024 and the last date for reporting to college is also 5th september before 5 30 pm so when you are going to report any college you need to take this list of documents with you in the original format okay so yes now starting with the first that is clause a so there are so many list of documents i'll be reading them please make a note of it okay so the first one you need to take is your 10 certificate okay the second one is your 12 standard certificate then third one is your candidates study certificate obtained from the head of the institution which should be countersigned by the concerned block educational officer okay or ddpu seven years of study in karnataka including 10th or 12th okay so now uh, the fourth one here is if you are claiming rural quota then you need to give rural study certificate from first to 10th standard for 10 complete years and should be counter signed by the beo now for the general merit students should also produce nclc that is non creamy layer certificate obtained from the concerned tazildar okay so now rd numbers need to be entered in the application for online verification so what are the documents first four documents your 10 certificate we have 12 certificate then your candidate study set certificate and then if you are claiming rural quota you need the rural study certificate okay now coming to the fifth one here if you are claiming Kannada medium quota then you need Kannada medium study certificate from first to 10 standard for 10 complete years and should be countered by countersigned by the BEO okay this is the fifth one now sixth one is if you are claiming reservation benefits caste or caste income certificate with RD number issued by the concerned Tazildar okay so you need your caste or caste caste income certificate next for SC and ST in form D now category 1 in form E and 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B in form F. So these all certificates you need to take. Caste certificate or caste income certificate or income certificate should be in the name of the candidate only. This is very very important. Now income certificate to be uploaded by SCST on category 1 to claim fee exemption. Okay. So if you have any uh, claiming reservation benefit then submit your caste or caste income certificate with the rd number issued by the tazildar apart from this these three things are important seven one is your admission order if you have paid the fees then eighth one is your fee payment copy and ninth one is your verification slip okay so once again i'll repeat 10 certificate 12 certificate study certificate rural quota if you want rural reservation Kannada medium quota if you are telling you need the Kannada medium study certificate and if you are having caste reservation caste certificate needs to be there in this proper format okay and apart from this admission order fee payment copy and verification slip now coming to clause b so clause b students need your 10 certificate 12 certificate and study set uh, candidate study certificate for having studied both first and second puc or 11th and 12th standard in karnataka issued by the head of the educational institution next fourth one is your study certificate for either of the parent having studied for at least seven years in karnataka for from the head of the educational institution where he or she had studied okay so you need your 10th certificate 12th certificate and your candidate study certificate for first and second puc that is your 11th or 12th standard in karnataka and you also need study certificate for either of your parent who have studied for at least seven years in karnataka okay 
next you have uh, if you are reserve if you want this uh, cast uh, reservation then you need to submit your cast or cast income certificate with rd number issued by the tehsildar okay next you have uh, again uh, admission order uh, that one seventh one is your fee payment copy and eighth one is your verification slip okay now coming to clause c so for clause c again that is first one is 10 certificate second one is 12 certificate third one is a domicile certificate issued by the concerned revenue or municipal authorities con uh, certifying that the candidate and his either of the parent have resided outside the state of karnataka as on 1 5 2024 right so yes may 1st 2024 so first of all is your 10th 12th certificate then your domicile certificate okay next uh, the place of the issuing authority should correspond to the place of the domicile of the candidate of father or mother okay next the fourth one is a domicile certificate issued by the concerned revenue authorities of the state of karnataka regarding the previous domicile of the father mother or of the candidate as a place in the state of karnataka so you need your previous domicile certificate also the place of the issuing authority should correspond to the place of the domicile of the father or mother okay so first you need a domicile certificate issued by the concerned revenue or the municipal authority certifying that the candidate and his either of the parent have resided outside the state of karnataka that is one you need and then you need a domicile certificate issued by the concerned revenue authorities of the state of karnataka regarding the previous domicile of father and mother father or mother of the candidate as a place in the state of karnataka okay next coming to candidate study certificate then you need transfer certificate with mother tongue details okay next the sixth one is candidate or father or mother 10 standard marks card or cumulative record in the original in support of the mother tongue as Kannada, Tulu, Kodava or Bieri. Okay. Next seventh one is a duly sworn declaration regarding mother tongue of the candidate. You need a, a declaration also. And then eighth one is admission order, ninth is fee payment copy and tenth is your verification slip. Okay. Now coming to clause uh, next one that is clause D. So again for clause D first is your 10th certificate then 12th certificate third one is your residential certificate from the concert tehsildar of the respective dis uh, disputed taluk then candidate study certificate issued by the head of the institution which should be countersigned by the taluk education officer okay so your study certificate should be signed by taluk education officer then fifth one is candidate or father or mother 10 standard marks card cumulative record in original in support of the mother tongue as Canada, Tulu, Kodava or Bari. Now sixth one a duly signed declaration regarding the mother tongue of the candidate. Next you have admission order, fee payment copy and verification slip. Okay. Now coming to clause E. Okay. Next coming to clause E here again 10 certificate, 12 certificate and then third one is candidate study certificate for having studied second PUC or equivalent examination in Karnataka issued by the head of the educational institution. Then fourth one is employment certificate of the parent issued by the controlling office where the parent is working indicating the period during which he has worked in the state of Karnataka. So basically you need your parent uh, working certificate that they have worked in Karnataka, the proof for that. Then um, from the reporting date to till date, then you need admission order, fee payment and verification slip. Okay. Next coming to clause F. Here the first one is your 10 certificate, 12 certificate. Then third one is if you are claiming reservation, then you need your caste certificate. Okay. Next. Uh, after for SC, ST in form D, category 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B in form F. Next one is your parents hometown declaration certificate while joining the service issued by the respective branch of integrated headquarter of Ministry of Depart uh, Defense for officers and respective record offices for JCOs. Okay. So your parents hometown, hometown declaration certificate is required. After that admission order, fee payment and verification slip. Okay. Now coming to next one, clause G, here also we need 10 certificate, 12 certificate, then candidate study certificate, okay, then uh, uh, study certificate having studied second PUC or equivalent examination in Karnataka issued by the 
head of the educational institution. Then fourth one is service certificate of the parent issued by the C controlling officer indicating the period during which the parent has worked in the Karnataka and a certificate showing the present place of posting indicating that his family is permitted to stay in Karnataka. The present working place of the parent should be indicated in name and not by the code numbers okay this is very very important so if your parent is not like not working in Karnataka right now then they need a uh, certificate where the name of the place should be written where they are working and that should not be in code number rather we need the exact name okay next there is admission order fee payment copy and verification slip now coming to clause uh, H the next one here again you need your 10th certificate, 12th certificate and if you are claiming reservation under caste so you need caste certificate then you need caste uh, certificate or caste income certificate or income certificate should be in the name of the candidate only ok. Income certificate to be uploaded by SCST or category 1 to claim fee exemption ok. Next we need parents ok here there is this is the fourth one you need parents hometown declaration certificate while joining the service issued by the joint director deputy director of the concerned district and countersigned by the director department of scenic welfare and resettlement bangalore okay so you need your parents hometown uh, declaration certificate when they join this service next you need admission order fee payment and verification slip okay next coming to clause i here we have 10th certificate, 12th certificate, then candidate study certificate, then the fourth one is certificate from the employer indicating the parent's period of employment in the state of Karnataka and also showing that he or she is transferable anywhere in India. So when your parents worked in Karnataka that duration certificate you need. Then the fifth one is a certificate from employer indicating parent as an employee of union government or an employee of the union or Karnataka state government undertaking or joint, sec joint sector undertaking ok. Next you need admission order, fee payment and the verification slip ok. Next uh, coming to clause J here you need 10th certificate, 12th certificate and then if you are claiming any reservation then caste certificate then you need your study certificate of the parent employee for having studied or for at least 7 years in the state of Karnataka from the head of the educational institution where he or she had studied. Then the fifth one hometown declaration certificate of the parent employee while joining the service and showing that he or she is transferable anywhere in India issued by the employer. So you need your parent study certificate and you need your hometown declaration certificate. Next you need admission order fee payment copy and then verification slip. Next coming to clause K here we have 10th certificate, 12th certificate and then you need uh, any reservation then you need your caste certificate then you have certificate showing that the parent is or was a member of parliament elected from Karnataka issued by the parliament secretariat then admission order fee payment copy and verification slip. Next coming to clause L. So here first is your 10th certificate, 12th certificate then if you have any reservation then you need to submit your caste certificate and then you need to cert, uh, submit certificate from the principal secretary or deputy secretary under secretary DPAR or government of Karnataka Bangalore where the parent belongs to all India service of Karnataka cadre ok. So this certificate is needed stating that the parent is a member of such all India cadre. The certificate should also indicate the period during which he has served or is serving outside the state of Karnataka and if the parent is a state government employee a certificate from the concerned head of the department or the head of the office where he where such a parent is employed should be uploaded in this regard ok. So yes uh, where according like where the parent was working as a state government they need a certificate from that from the head of the department and then you have admission order fee payment and verification slip. Next coming to sorry clause M so in clause M 10th certificate 12th certificate and then an original certificate issued by the jurisdictional district magistrate and deputy commissioner of any state in India as the proof of migration ok. So you need a certificate of migration from district magistrate on deputy commissioner. Then 
the candidates who are claiming eligibility under clause m are eligible only for the seats earmarked by the government okay next you have admission fee payment and the verification slip next coming to clause n so here you have 10 certificate 12 certificate then a domicile certificate issued by the concerned revenue or municipal authority certifying that the candidate and his uh, father or mother have resided outside the state of Karnataka as on 1st May of 2024. The place of the issuing authority should correspond to the place of the domicile of the candidate or father or mother. Okay. So, if you have a state outside the Karnataka, then you need to uh, submit the certificate and that place should be the uh, the place of the issuing authority should correspond to the place of the domicile of either candidate or father or mother. Then you need candidate study certificate okay, for having studied in Kannada medium from 1st standard to 10th standard issued by the head of the institution. Next admission order, fee payment and verification slip. And next for clause O, 10 certificate, 12 certificate, then third one if your caste certificate, fourth one parents hometown declaration certificate while joining the service issued by the record office of the CAPF unit where the parents service records are maintained. Okay, So, parents hometown declaration certificates are needed then admission order fee payment and verification slip. Okay, So, yes students so these were the all the clauses and the list of documents so please make a note of it arrange them we need all the original documents to be submitted during the admission time. Okay, So, yes please keep all these ready so that you do not have any trouble during the admission time. If you have any doubt please comment down we will definitely address it. Thank you for watching and please subscribe the channel for more updates.